In this tutorial, we are going to describe common elements of the Unreal Engine 5 interface and what they do. This video is targeted towards anyone who is new to Unreal Engine 5 and if you want to start using the engine as an absolute beginner, this can be a good starting point for you. So let's jump into it and get started. When you open UE5 for the first time, the level editor opens. This is the default Unreal editor interface and some of the elements described here such as panels and menu bars are generally the same across various parts of the engine. On the top left corner of your screen, you have the menu bar. Each editor in Unreal Engine has a menu bar and some of the menus such as file, window and help are present in all editor windows and not just the level editor and others are editor specific. For example, when I open the material editor, some of them are still there and some of them disappear. Using these, you have access to some of the commands and functionalities in the software. For example, in the window menu, you can add or remove different tabs to your UI. Here, I'm going to select place actors and now as you can see, I have a new tab on the left side of my screen. This is a very useful tool and I strongly recommend having it in your UI. Using this tab, you can easily add actors to your level. There are different categories here for the actors and for example, if I want to add a cube to my scene, I can just go to the shapes and drag the cube into my level. Here you have the main toolbar. It contains shortcuts to some of the most used tools and commands in Unreal Editor. It is divided into six areas. Number one is save button. You can click this button to save the level that is currently open. Number two is mode selection. It contains shortcuts for quickly switching between different modes to edit content within your level. Number three is content shortcuts. It contains shortcuts for adding and opening common types of content within the level editor. Number 4 is play mode controls. It contains shortcut buttons, play, skip, stop and eject for running your game in the editor. Number 5 is platforms menu. It contains a series of options you can use to configure, prepare and deploy your project to different platforms such as desktop, mobile or consoles. And number 6 is settings. It contains various settings for the Unreal editor, level editor viewport and game behavior. You can also access your plugins using this menu. The level viewport displays the contents of the level that is currently open. This is where you can view and edit the contents of your active level, whether it's a game environment, a product visualization app or something else. There are also some tools and menus here on top of the editor which you can use working with the software. For example here you can enable FPS and see it here in the viewport. You can tweak your field of view or screen percentage and you can also hit high resolution screenshot to have a screenshot of your viewport. Here you can toggle between different view modes like unlit, wireframe or lighting only. Here you can define what should be shown in the viewport and what should be hidden. For example, when I uncheck the grid, you can see that it gets invisible in the viewport. Here on the right side, you have select, move, rotate and scale tools and you can also control their snapping amounts. You can disable or enable them and define their snapping values. For example, I'm gonna put my rotation snap on 30 degrees and now as you can see when I rotate an object, it snaps to 30 degree angles. You can do the same thing for moving or scaling tools. Here you can change your camera speed while moving in the scene. If you have a big level, you can increase the speed so it's easier to move in the level and if you have a small one, you can decrease it to move slowly and accurately. And the button here switches between different layouts and by hitting it again, you can maximize your viewport again. On the bottom of the screen, you have the content browser. The content browser is a file explorer window that displays all of the assets, blueprints and other files contained in your project. You can use it to browse through your content, drag assets into the level, migrate assets between projects and more. You can dock it in layout so it stays here permanently or you can hit control space every time you need it. The bottom toolbar contains shortcuts to the command console, output log and drive data functionality and it also displays source controls status. You can use the command console to type commands and in some cases it can be very useful. For example, when I type stat RHI and hit enter, I can see some statistics in the viewport. The outliner panel displays a hierarchical view of all content in your level. By default, it is located in the upper right corner of the Unreal Editor window. Here you can create folders and groups, hide and unhide actors and do many other things to organize your assets in the level. Here under the outliner, you have the details panel. When you select an actor in the level viewport, the details panel will show the settings and properties that affect the actor you selected. 
That was a very basic overview of UE5 and of course there is much more to know which I am going to cover in other videos. If you want to learn Unreal as a beginner, this channel can be a good place to start so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.